welcome back to adulting. Come back. I cheated and got some heart containers and figured out where the first dungeon was. Yeah, walkthroughs are great for that. So you you missed like two heart containers. Now we're into dungeoneering. Hooray! Mm, I don't like those. <laughs> I like, don't like them. They're like cute snappy dragon mouths. Oh. This. Hooray! Skeleton. Toins. When they're all stuck together, they're easy to kill. Oh, look at Key. Yeah. I like the uh, the little uh, stopwatch thing, because that stops time. Yeah? <laughs> it's very useful. And today we're joined by a special guest. It is Natsu, the Weebasaur Kitty. And he's he's quiet except for purrs, but I'm hugging him right now. He he was weaving before. Yeah. No. Oh. His, his his proper name is Natsu, but we call him Weebs or Weebasaur or Justin Weber, um, because when he meows, he sounds like he's going Weebs, or at least he has in the past. He doesn't do it as much now. Yeah, but when he was a kitten, sometimes when he was whiny, he'd go Weeb, and it was kind of adorable. It was super adorable, but it was also really weird. So we started calling him Weebs. Yeah, and you know, in in the way of pet nicknames that really did devolve into things like Weebasaurus Rex and Justin Weeber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still like Justin Weeber, that's probably the best one. I like Weebs. Or Weebs. Banana Nana Nana too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just decided that bouncing off the skeletons would be a good idea. Link hits things with his head, and it hurts. I mean, it probably uh, would if he gave Nanatsu? it a good nutting. No, fuck. No, I want that! <laughs> Give me your heart. It's hard to gauge where things are. Mm, so when yeah. I think I should just be able to hit it with my sword, I often bounce off it with my face. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that's a problem for a lot of martial artists. Yeah! Oh, Jacob, did you have to claw the wall? Probably. He's if, a that, shit. if that oh. squeaky sound was picked up, that was a cat claw against paint. It's horrible. I died because I suck at this game, apparently. It's okay. Oh, hey, at least I start here. Yeah, which is kind of nice. Hooray! Yay! For cutting you some slack. Yeah, it's not easy, but it's great that it basically gives you, like, the unlimited continues and. Yeah. Just lets you keep going. Yeah, unlike some, you know, uh, Nintendo games at the time where you basically get three lives and then it's like, well, nope, fuck you, you died, you're not worthy of going onward. And they were impossible. <laughs> and they were impossible. In some cases by design, which is fucked up. Yeah, it is. I, I watched a, uh, a really interesting video not that long ago about um, games that were unwinnable by design, either through lazy programming or just uh, like well, maliciousness. Lazy programming seems almost more like a side effect rather than by design. Oh well, yeah, true, winnable. true. But either way, it was kind of fascinating to to look at games where there literally is no way to actually win it. Like uh, the the coding gets a little bit fucked up so that the final boss never actually spawns or things like oh, that. Oh yeah. And like, can you imagine being a kid in? the 80s and 90s, and you get this really awesome game, and you're thinking, yeah, I'm gonna spend the whole weekend, I'm gonna beat this, and you get to what you think the whole thing has been leading up to, and then just nothing happens. I would be pissed. So would I. I, I think I did something wrong. Yeah. Like, there's this secret that you never actually accomplish that unlocks the actual last boss, instead of just stalling right at the end. Yeah, exactly. It's so weird that the compass just basically gives you a flashing light of Big Boss here. Well, it's kind of what the compass does any other time. True, but usually the compass also gives you a, a rough estimate of the map, though... Not really, you get a map. I thought... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, don't... Don't take my word for Zelda things! <laughs> The three things you usually find in any dungeon oh, there's your map -map. are a map, a compass, and I don't know about the old one, but in the newer ones, it's a map, a compass, and your special weapon. Oh yeah, that's true. The the, uh, the thing you know you're going to have to use to beat the boss. Yeah. Well, that... You have a key. I don't think it's a, it's not it doesn't have a keyhole. Oh, that's it's weird. not a keyhole door, so I've got to huh. do something else. Fascinating. 
God, these blobs are like hyper. <laughs> like, no, no more coffee for them. They're like straight up made out of caffeine. Fucking caffeine blobs. Hope everybody's having fun watching me die horribly, because I suck at old school games now. They possibly are. I know I would be. They would better be. <laughs> oh, here you go, cat. Go look out the window. There's just snow there. Because <laughs> I used to be way better at these. Well, like, like you said in the last episode, it's been a long time since we've played any, like, really retro games. I know at this point in time, PS2 and below are actually retro. <laughs> that, that scares the hell out of me. Because, I mean, I started off with an NES, but, you know, basically only had games on it that my parents wanted to play, because it was my system in my room. <laughs> but parents, you know, when you're six, your things are their things. Um... Then I move on to the Sega Genesis, and like the next thing I got, no, actually I got a Turbo Graphics in there, and the next thing I got was a uh, a PlayStation, and I've pretty much been gamey gaming ever since. Oh shit. Um, oh. but to think like, didn't you get a PS2? Yeah, I got a PS2 after my PSX. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, I was thinking of your Final Fantasy VII story, and for some reason was conflating that with you getting Final Fantasy X and a launch PS2. I. Well, I did those things, but what, what was my Final Fantasy VII story? Of getting Final Fantasy VII and you never played games like that before? Oh, right, that okay. I just was conflating the two for some reason. Right, okay. But yeah, like, games that... It, it, it really is weird to think that... It's not just the games I grew up with. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, oh my god! Hi! <laughs> um, not just the games I grew up <laughs> with that are... Holy balls. Uh... <laughs> okay! <laughs> well, I guess that's the boss. I guess so! Um, but yeah, not just the games I grew up with are now considered retro, because I think most people... Most people, even if they were born... Like, after us, sort of think, you know, yeah, the, the games that oh, were shit. around when I was a kid are retro, but I'm thinking, like... The system that came out when I was partway through high school is now considered retro. Mm -hmm. And that just breaks my brain. It's still one of the best systems that's ever, ever it is. existed. I love the backwards compatibility. I love that it's a fairly solid piece of machinery. I and it the had the best collection of games. Fuck yes, especially if you're someone who really likes role-playing games. Like, it had the best RPG collection. Nothing has ever... Well, I don't want to say nothing's ever come close, because, um... The DS and the 3DS have a really kick-ass collection of RPGs on them, but yeah. consoles, nothing's come close to the PS2. Oh, and it's just, it had such a wide range of games, too. Yeah, it like, really it did. Just, it had everything. It, it, I mean, you got your RPGs, you got your crappy party games, your survival horror, your first-person shooters, your weird shit that doesn't work properly, like... It, it was a very, it was a versatile system, it wasn't just... You th it, it wasn't, I guess, a system with a stereotype, in the way that you, you've got the stereotype of Nintendo is the family system, so it focuses on games that everyone can play, or the Xbox is kind of the, uh... First-person shooter? Yeah, the, the first-person shooter, the, the college dorm game system kind of thing. Um... Oh wow, that's an awkward position for that thing to be in. Seriously, I didn't realize I picked up one of those oh. time things. But yeah, the the PS2 I found was just Fuck you. so versatile. I loved it. Yeah, still if it, love it. It would be more of a if it had a stereotype or a typical thing, it would be the RPG one. But yeah, uh, it it had such a combination of stuff. It had one of the best groups of games. Oh yeah. my god! Shit. Hmm. Huh. Okay. How much you want to? How much? Do... Ah. Say how much you want to bet it's yeah. gonna be over there. Yeah. Cause they're assholes. Oh, it's a bow. That's convenient for uh, arrows. Yeah. Arrowed. Not quite. No. I'm gonna get batted. Duh. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Just. Uh... Fucker stopped right up there at the top of the stairs. Oh. Fucker. Come on. I know those things had a funny. Oh, they were keys. keys? Yeah. Who yeah, named okay. this shit? Sure. 
over! Defeat the keys to get the keys! So I guess I unlock the door with bats then! Let's <laughs> <laughs> take a bat and shove it in a keyhole! <laughs> That's so disturbing! Super awkward. Very. Oh my. Bye bye! Bye, keys! Now remember, they hurt. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excuse I me. That. Oh god! What Shit. I forgot was that they would do that over there. Uh, yeah, this oh. is like a quick one and then a slow one, so. Oh my god, excuse uh, me. I need arrows. Yeah, they, uh, they were sold in the same shop as the bombs, I think. They were, but fuck, why? Probably now that you have that, when'd you get that? What the fuck is it? Is that your boomerang? Is it a boomerang? It's either that or a banana. Banana rank? And why can't I choose my... Oh, I must not be able to choose the bow because of... The the la oh, maybe the lack of arrows? Yeah. Well, let's see. Yeah! yeah. What, what the fuck did I get there? I don't remember! I saw a couple of the... Like, the, the moblins using it. But I didn't- I don't know, maybe you picked one up because you killed like three of them at once at one point. Yeah, maybe. So that might have been it. Oh, no! <laughs> out of curiosity, what's your favorite system? Um, I have to say PS2 is probably my favorite. Yeah. It's just missing a lot of Elder Scrolls games. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. But when you look at the fact that that's basically what I have an Xbox for. Uh, yeah. Um, and I mean- don't get me wrong, Xbox has a few good games. It does. It's just primarily, I could live without them except the Elder Scrolls. And they release the Elder Scrolls and everything now. Yeah, it's even on the PS4 now. Yep. Um, so the Elder Scrolls Online, I keep forgetting that. Though admittedly, um, they had a lot of issues with the with uh, Skyrim for the PS3. They did. It was the one that received like the the few fewest patches um, and had so many so many issues. I'm kind of glad you never experienced Skyrim on it because I would have been so so angry. Yeah. So angry. Like I would have cried in rage. And I would have breaking things. I wouldn't have been able to blame you. Like I I like what I I know Bethesda games have a an earned uh, reputation for putting out glitchy games at launch. But usually, they're not game-breaking. Most of the time. Like, it's it's not terribly, terribly glitchy right from the get-go. You do find some game-breaking glitches in there. But I really like Bethesda's general policy of if it's not game-breaking and it is funny, you may as well leave it in. Yeah, it's pretty hilarious. Yeah, because... That kind of shows that- Oh, oh right, I forgot about the boss. Um, it, it weirdly shows that- No, I'm gonna need the arrows. Oh, uh, yeah, fuck. Where was you gonna get the arrows? I'm gonna have to leave and buy them. Shit. Fuck. I would've figured something in here would drop them. These people think I'm made of steel. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Anyway, we should probably do that next time, huh? Mm, yep. Yeah, okay. Next time, we Bye. will arrow it. Bye. Bye.